Hi there. Today I offer you a restorative yoga practice. That means we're only moving into a few different shapes that are fully supported so that we can rest deeply in each pose. So my name is Kenzie and I'm offering you this practice through the Everyday Counts program. And we will begin now. So we always begin by finding our most comfortable, relaxed position to start the practice. You'll notice I've got a couple props here. I've got two blankets and I've got two quite thick uh, pillows, uh, bed pillows. But you could use whatever props you have in your house. Any blankets, any pillows, any number. So I'm gonna use my blankets as a pillow only because I'd like to use both pillows under my knees. It really depends on how you're feeling in your low back today. You're welcome to do all of this in bed as need be. Um, as walls provide because we will use a wall today. And so you'll notice as I lay down, I am gonna bring my legs over these pillows so they're under my knees, maybe my calves, even maybe my feet are slightly elevated, but it doesn't matter. Um, but if it feels like too much, remove a pillow. And if you've got too much blanket here under your head, again, you can always adjust for comfort because your comfort matters most of all in this practice. So continue to make yourself comfortable. And notice where your arms want to be, whether those are hands to the belly or somewhere on the bottom body or out to the sides. And notice if you feel warm enough, you're always welcome to have an extra blanket over your body in each of these poses. Socks, a sweater. So as you close your eyes, you might again notice um, and that you're not comfortable and that you still need to make adjustments to make yourself comfortable. But once you do find that comfort, begin to settle into stillness, but know that you can move at any time. So as you begin to become still, You might notice that your body is still moving with the breath. You feel the gentle rise and fall of your abdomen. And if you feel that your chest is rising a lot with the breath, maybe bring your hands to your belly. And we'll invite just the belly to rise with the in-breath keeping the chest nice and quiet. And just the belly falls with the out breath. So we don't need to take a complete breath in that fills us up. And we don't need to empty the lungs entirely of the out breath. We're just inviting that soft middle place where we allow the belly to rise and expand with the inhale and to fall with the exhale without any effort. A gentle invitation, a simple noticing, allowing. Now let's begin to explore what I like to call the gift of gravity. And so wherever your body touches the soft support beneath you, there can be found a feeling of stillness and connection. So I know my feet are hovering, but if your feet are touching the ground, notice that feeling of stillness and of connection. 
that gift of gravity. Now noticing wherever your legs touch down, wherever the backs of the legs feel supported. Can we look, can we feel for stillness and connection? Noticing where the buttocks and parts of the back touch down. And noticing stillness and connection. Notice where your arms and hands touch down. Feeling for stillness and connection. And we notice where the back of the head touches down. Stillness and connection. As we rest here for a few moments longer, once more tune in to the soft rise and fall of your abdomen with the breath. A soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. If it suits you, bring a hand to rest on your belly and one on your chest. And feel the weight and warmth of your own giving hand. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. And then slowly releasing your hands. Now from here, we are going to give our fingers and toes a little wiggle. Maybe there's a yawn or a stretch. And then you can roll over to one side. 
And then just to slowly make your way upright. So I'm going to show you the setup for the next pose and you can uh, slowly make your way. You're always welcome to press pause to gather more objects uh, that you need for support. So I'm going to have my pillows off to the side so I can grab them pretty easy. I will take both of my folded blankets. I'm going to place them about two or three, maybe four inches away from the wall. Um, so what we'll be doing is putting our legs up the wall. I probably failed to mention the importance of a wall. There it is. Um, so to get your legs up the wall, we're actually going to kind of put our hips on the blanket. So the pelvis is going to be a little bit elevated. So if you know that you'll only want one blanket for that, that's fine. If you know you'll want a pillow under your head, you're going to have it right here. And to get your legs up the wall, this is the slightly tricky part. So I'm going to get my hips onto this pillow here or these stack of blankets. My other hip is quite close to the wall. I'm going to come onto my forearm so I can kind of lean in onto the forearm, get the other hand behind me so I can get my legs up. So I know that's a bit of a curious maneuver um, and just kind of play with it. We'll take a few moments to settle in here. So. I do feel like my pelvis is a little bit higher than everything else. I may want support under my head. And I'm far enough away from the wall that if my knees need to be bent, that's okay. Um, and even with them straight, gravity is sort of letting them lean as opposed to being straight up and down or they might want to go in all directions. Uh, so I keep kind of adjusting here so that you feel like the legs can really relax against the wall without you having to hold them there. Even if it helps, you could wedge these blankets or these pillows behind you so that you really felt like you were leaning your legs against something soft, okay? At any point, you can hug your knees to the belly, roll to the side, uh, you could even have your legs resting on a chair. We've done that in other practices. You notice my arms are naturally out to the sides. Any, any direction will do as long as we feel a place of openness before stretch. Even hands to the belly to help you connect to the breath. Closing your eyes. Breathing through your nose if you can. And again, assessing your comfort. And making any adjustments to increase it. Soft belly breath in. And softer, slower breath out. So I'll offer a bit of a guided visualization and it might be helpful to have the arms out to your sides, palms facing up, but if that's not comfortable, please feel free to keep them wherever they need to be. And so in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine a, a gentle stream, maybe a bit of a mountain stream, so it's slowly moving down through a rich forest, dappled sunlight, the shades of brown and green and golden. And kind of hear that gentle 
watery sound. It's not a rushing river, it's a, it's a forest stream. You might find a very sweet spot with a natural slope where the water is moving just a little bit, a little bit faster. And there's a bit of a, a pool. And it's so beautiful. And then we'll find a way to maybe become that beautiful spot in the forest. Can you imagine the energy of that stream, that sense of fluid movement, kind of flowing through the soles of our feet and down our legs towards our hips. Imagine allowing that gentle stream of water to flow through the soles of your feet and down your legs. And then that bit of pooling, that gentle forest pool is here at your abdomen and pelvis. You can kind of feel the water flowing and gently pooling here. And then kind of overflowing and continuing to flow up into the chest through the shoulders, through the arms, through the hands, flowing out through the hands. Can we feel it flowing through the neck, through the head, and flowing out through the crown of the head like we've become this mountain stream? Can we keep receiving that flowing, watery energy through the soles of our feet? through the legs, feel this kind of cooling fluid energy building up just a little bit in the belly, in the abdomen, and then continuing to flow out through the arms and hands, through the neck and head, just this continuous flow of energy. So let's stay with this for a few minutes longer, receiving the flow of that mountain stream through the soles of our feet, traveling through our body to flow out through our palms and through the crown of our head. As if the movement of the breath at the abdomen helps that water to flow through the hands, through the crown of the head. And carrying on that journey of energy. That fluid nature within all of us. open to that flow from the soles of our feet all the way out through our palms and through the crown of our head. As if we too are in this beautiful forest of so many shades of brown and green and golden reflecting off the water, dappled sunlight through the leaves and the branches of the trees. And there's bird song, but there's also the, the gentle watery sounds of this gentle mountain stream. The flowing down through the feet, through the whole body, and out through the hands, out through the crown of the head.
So for five or six more breaths, let's continue to be this mountain stream. Let's continue to let the energy flow through the soles of our feet, out through the hands and through the crown of the head. Letting the breath help the energy to flow. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please do. You can stay in any of these poses for as long as you choose. If you are ready to move on to the next pose, perhaps bring a little wiggle to your fingers and toes. Perhaps turn your head slowly from side to side. Oh, maybe there's a yawn. Maybe there's a stretch. We are going to move into our next pose from this one. So I'm going to bend my knees and rest my feet against the wall or even hug the knees towards the belly. If there's pillows behind my legs. I could rest them on the pillow. I'll allow a few breaths here, just letting the weight of the legs do whatever they want to do. And then we could locate one of our pillows and we'll bring it over to one side of the body. It might be the right side. We might need two pillows, you might need one. So I'm just starting with one and then allowing both legs or thighs to move over towards that pillow and rest. So some of us are gonna naturally wanna place something between the thighs if they're separated or might know we want a second pillow under the legs. And another option here, if as the legs fall to one side, your opposite shoulder blade lifts off the mat, you could bring that second pillow under the arm. So that's a great option too. You might turn to face that reaching arm. You might not. You might even place that right hand to the outer left thigh or between the thighs. So lots of options here. And if you just find the wall is too close, you might need to scooch yourself away from it. But what's nice is this means that the twist is slightly higher up the spine, just a little bit of a different twist. So again, keep making adjustments for your comfort, even noticing we have those blankets under our pelvis. So if you need to adjust here, please do. And then you can close your eyes. And again, notice if you're comfortable. And notice if you'd like to make any changes to improve your comfort. And we will once more connect to that gentle movement in the abdomen, that gentle rise and fall which might feel slightly restricted here because of the twist. So is that okay? Can we soften into that? Maybe bringing a little movement of the breath into that top side waist, into the low back, without having to move into chest breathing or expand the rib cage too much. We're keeping the chest nice and quiet. We're inviting the in-breath soft and deep. And the out-breath soft and slow. So 
let's begin to listen, not just for the sound of my voice, but let's listen for the closest sounds we can. I know I can hear when I swallow or lick my lips. Sometimes I can even hear the breath as it moves in past the nostrils. And then beginning to invite your sense of hearing into the room. Moving from sound to sound within the room. Moving from sound to sound without naming the sound, simply move from sound to sound. And then move that sense of hearing beyond this room into the world beyond your home. To whatever sounds you can sense beyond these walls. Feel your ears hearing. Feel your body breathing. Well, let's bring our sense of hearing back into this room. Well, let's bring our sense of hearing so close we can hear our own breath. We'll offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last.
If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free. If you are ready to move into this shape on the other side, maybe there's a yawn or a stretch, oh, wiggle to the fingers or toes. You could even use your hands to guide your knees back to center. Maybe a little rock from side to side or out of the knees to the belly. And then we'll try it on the other side. So you might have different needs here. You might start with one pillow as you guide the knees over. If that right shoulder or arm comes off the mat, maybe there's a support for that arm as well. Or a second pillow under the knee or between the thighs. Just tuck that left hand in wherever it feels good. Adjust the angle of the right arm. And closing your eyes. Continuing to adjust for comfort. Feeling the gentle rhythm of your own breath. Well, the belly soft to receive the in-breath. Soft to release the out-breath. I know there's a bit of compression to the abdomen in these twists, so you remember that as you inhale, you can invite the breath into that top side waist, into the low back, but there's a little bit of subtle movement there that we can drop into. Once more, now let's engage with our sense of hearing. Finding the closest sounds. Again, you might swallow and hear that. You might hear the air moving past your nostrils. Allowing your sense of hearing to reach into the room around you. Moving from sound to sound. moving from sound to sound within this room. And then allowing your sense of hearing to reach beyond these walls into the world beyond whatever you can hear from the world beyond these walls. We don't need to name the sound, simply hear it and then move on.
Let's bring our sense of hearing closer again into the room. And then listening for our own breath and any sounds within our own body, the gurgling of the abdomen, again the sound of swallowing or licking your lips, or breathing. Let's offer three or four more breaths to this pose. Each exhale, a little longer than the last. Again, we have opportunity to stay where we are or to yawn or stretch or give our fingers or toes a little wiggle. And then we can slowly bring those legs back to center. And then clearing a space at your side, you can roll all the way over and come upright. Yeah. Okay, so I like to offer a little bit of movement in between some of our poses. We have one more pose before our final relaxation pose. And I'd like to invite a little bit of cat-cow. So I'm going to move my props out of the way. And come to hands and knees tabletop position. And you're always welcome to place an extra blanket under your knees. or to come onto forearms. Okay, so if the wrists are tender, that is fine. You could even come onto fists. Or my personal favorite, especially because we have these props, is you could stack your pillows and bring your forearms here. Yeah, so we could rock the hips a few times from side to side. And just notice how that feels. We could come to center and then draw the tailbone down and begin to gently round. And then turn the tailbone up and begin to gently arch. Often in our yoga practice, we're looking for a bit of stretch. But in our restorative yoga practice, we're just looking for that place of openness before stretch. So this could be a very tiny movement. Maybe even closing your eyes as we flow through this a couple more times in either direction. And then we'll slowly come back to center. So this next pose is quite a common one that I probably throw into most of my restorative practices um, as a chance to be supported by the, with the front of your body. Um, so two options. One is a supported child pose and one is a supported prone position where the legs don't need to be bent. So let me show you both and if you know where you want to go with this by all means um, 
move right into it and start to soften and settle. So I'm bringing one blanket, maybe two, um, stacked at the end of my mat. Um, with knees bent, I've got knees to either side of these uh, pillows, so the knees are quite wide. I'm gonna bring my hands down either side of the pillows and then rest my chest here. Now I've got quite a long torso, so it may or may not be comfortable to turn your head to one side. Um, if you've run out of pillow, you can always take the pillows a little further out. Yeah, and then I'll remind you at the halfway point to turn your head. But another option here, if, if we can get kind of on top of these pillows, is we've created this little valley with the blanket and the pillows, and you could have your face in between and that valley resting the forehead. And that might be a really nice place to be. The head is below the heart here, so just listening to your own body if you have high or low blood pressure, or even building up these blankets so that the head can be a little bit higher. So some of you are gonna love that. Um, next option is pretty simple to show. I've still got those blankets. I've still got the space at the end of my pillows. My knees are slightly further away. As I lower myself down, my knees can be nice and open um, and I can rest the forehead here. So depending on what's happening through the breast tissues, there's two options here. And even in that other variation, you could have the chest on the pillows, or you could wiggle yourself a little further forward, make a little bigger, a little bit of a bigger valley, and then the breasts could actually hang free here. And we could still feel very supported as long as we've got enough blanket under the forehead. And then the forearms could be out to the sides, wherever they need to be. Okay. So uh, one more piece here and then we'll settle into this pose. Um, if it's uncomfortable to have your, the tops of your feet stretched like this, you could roll a little blanket up so that your feet are more like this. If you can see the difference, little blanket at the front of your feet will make those feet more comfortable. So settling into your pose here, closing your eyes. And noticing if you're comfortable choosing to adjust any time to increase your comfort. Letting your body surrender to gravity. And now beginning to tune into the breath. So obviously the belly is a bit compressed in this pose. And we need to invite the breath into the low back and into the waist. And we can start to feel, instead of the abdomen rising and falling, there's going to be a little rise and fall through the low back, a little expansion and contraction through the low waist. So let's focus on that for a while. And now we'll begin to journey a little more into sensation, into our senses. So let's notice our sense of seeing. So I know the eyes are closed and you can keep them closed. But notice what you see behind your closed eyelids. Is there light filtering through? Is there darkness? Can you sense your eyes seeing?
Well, now let's move on to our sense of smell. I know we can feel the air moving in past the nostrils, but can we sense scent? Even if there's not a lot to smell in the room you're in, can you kind of sense that absence of smell? Can you feel your nose smelling? as we move on to the next sense, if you've turned your head in one direction, slowly turn your head in the other direction. Now let's begin to sense our tongue tasting. So just discerning if there's a taste in your mouth or the absence of one. But can we feel our tongue tasting? And now we're going to spread out our awareness onto the whole surface of the skin, which can feel sensation, our skin, this giant sense organ all over our body. And let's first notice the greatest pressure. So it might be where the forehead is resting or the side of the face if it's turned to one side and feel that gentle pressure. And then we'll move on to noticing that pressure against the chest or the belly or the lower abdomen, just wherever it touches down. Can you feel that pressure against the skin? And what about the arms and hands, wherever they're touching down? Can we? Feel the gentle pressure and the sense organ of the skin feeling the support of the floor, all of the soft support beneath you. And we're now noticing where the legs and feet touch down, feeling for that pressure and that support. And as we rest here for maybe another minute or so, can you start scanning the whole sense organ of the skin, feeling for clothing against the skin, so a gentler pressure? Wherever there's clothing, can we feel it against the skin? And scan the arms, scan the legs, scan the whole torso. Feel the gentle pressure of clothing against the skin. Now the last little bit here, can we feel the soft, light press of air against our skin? 
maybe the face, the hands, the feet, the wrists, the ankles. Can we feel air against this wondrous sense organ of skin? We'll offer a few more breaths here, feeling the rise and fall through the low back and waist. Again, you can stay right where you are for as long as you choose. And if you feel ready to move on to our final relaxation, slowly walk your hands under you. Press to the ground. Okay. So we just have time for a, one more final relaxation pose, and it might be really similar to the first one we did. Um, with any adjustments that are needed. So maybe that couple of pillows under the knees, maybe a blanket under the head, maybe a blanket over your body if you're starting to feel a little bit chilly. And then take your time, find your way here. Notice if you want those arms away from the body or maybe tucked in close. If there's any little bit of movement you need to take. And then closing your eyes when you're ready. And again, continuing to increase your comfort. We feel the gentle rise and fall of the abdomen. We feel all of the pressure against the skin, the firm pressure of the floor beneath. The lesser pressure of floating against your skin, of air against your skin. We can hear or sense our ears hearing both near and far. We can feel our eyes seeing even behind closed eyelids. We can feel our nose smelling. Our tongue tasting.
Now we will gather our senses. Feel how most of them seem to kind of live together in our head. And see if we can kind of create this bundle of senses, this lovely orb of senses. And slowly kind of travel with them down into our neck as if we could see and hear and smell and taste in our neck. I know this takes some imagination, but just imagine this bundle of senses and we're kind of like an elevator that it's going down into the neck. No longer a headquarters for the senses. Let's take the elevator down into our chest as if we could sense from the chest. This bundle of senses living in our chest. Let's take the elevator down to what we call the solar plexus or the diaphragm, just kind of between the chest space and the belly space. And then we'll invite our senses down into our abdomen. As if we could unite seeing and hearing and tasting and smelling with the movement of the breath. And then that final, final floor, the elevator is going to go right into the pelvis. As if it could land on your pelvic floor, the base of your spine. Nice and rooted here. As if we could see from here. We could hear. We could smell. We could taste. We could even breathe. Right here. The base of our spine. And then we could gently send the elevator of the senses back up into our abdomen, united with the breath. And moving up a little further into that space between belly and chest. Last little bits of breath movement here. And the elevator comes up into that space of the chest, hearing and seeing, and smelling and tasting. And the elevator returns to the head. And we feel our sense of touch once more reaching out out to our fingertips, out to our toe tips, to the crown of our head. We feel the wholeness of our body. And the gentle pressure of that soft support beneath. And the softness of clothing against our skin. The sweetness of air against our skin. And the gentle rhythm of our own breath. Soft and deep. And soft and slow.
And then this is where I would like to leave you. And so if you would like to return to that sweetness, hand to belly, hand to chest, that offering, that kind word, that prayer, that affirmation. When you feel ready, you can wiggle fingers and toes and you can yawn and stretch and you can be gentle with yourself as you move on with your day. And thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Bye.